Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Impactation Service with Reverend Father Mario David Dibia. Monday Morning Impactation Service. Monday Morning Impactation Service. Begin to connect now, begin to share, begin to share, begin to connect. This is a new week, a new week, Monday morning, Monday morning. Good morning. Good morning, sons and daughters of God. Good morning. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Begin to share now. Begin to connect. Monday morning impactation service. Good morning. Good morning, Esther. Good morning, Paulinos. Connect as many. Share now. Let us receive our Monday morning impactation. Thank you, Jesus. Chamaka, good morning. Good morning to you all. Make sure you have a lot of people you connect to this Monday morning impactation program. We have gathered again in the name of the Lord. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Thank you, Jesus, for a day like this. Thank you, Jesus, for another week. Thank you, Jesus, for yet another day. Thank you, Jesus. We are asking for the grace to win in this week. I love you all. Good morning. Good morning. Hilary, how are you? Thank you, Jesus, for yet another opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Paul, good morning. Good morning to you all. Stanley, good morning. Good morning. We thank God for yet another opportunity. Good morning. Good morning to you all. Seth, good morning. Augustina, Polite, good morning. How are you? Thank you, Jesus, for a new week. Let's begin to thank Jesus. Let us begin to appreciate him. Send him love message, love message. Come on. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. Everyone, appreciate Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. Just make sure you hit that button. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Chibuzo. How are you? Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, all of you. Ah, my beloved. Alfred, Alfred, how are you? <laughs> Padre, Padre, good morning. <laughs> now, morning impartation. <laughs> now, new week we did. Great man of God, Father Alfred Abolaho. I appreciate your presence this morning. Let's do something great. Good morning, good morning to you all. Good morning. It's morning impartation. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you all, sons and daughters of God. Good morning, good morning. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you all. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Share now, share now. Let's quickly hit it now. The food is ready. The banquet table is ready. Yabro Sindiri Makashindama. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hit the button, hit the button. Begin to blast the air. Let the atmosphere, the airways begin to shake. Because it's a new week, we celebrate God. Yesterday was Christ the King. A new year for the church. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, Jesus. We are about to begin. We are about to begin something great. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my life. Thank you for the life of all my spiritual sons and daughters. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Monday morning impactation. Hit it now. Hit it now. I'm about to explode. I'm about to explode. I'm about to explode the content. I'm about to explode the content of this week. Begin to say good morning to Jesus. Connect your father, your mother, your brothers, your sisters. Wherever they are, connect all of them to this Monday morning. It's a Monday morning, Monday morning impartation. 
with your brother and priest, Reverend Father Mario David Dibier, a Catholic priest of the Catholic the Houses of Israel. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. And now we are about to begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for yet another day. Thank you for the opportunity of experiencing this week. Today is Monday, and many of us have a lot of plans for this week. We have a lot of plans for this day. We are begging you, Lord, to fuel us with the blessings for the week. Blessings for the week. And I pray for all of you online and all members of your family that this morning in Pactation, we endowed you with blessings for the week. We endowed you with blessings for the week. God is fueling your tank. You will not stop on the way. You are going to pass through this week in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not stop on the way. Receive supernatural energy, the energy that will energize you. Passing through this week with testimonies and joy in the name of Jesus. I stand as your priest this morning to connect you to heaven. I am connecting earth to heaven this morning. That this week, no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. No wish of fashion, demonic attack, fashion against you. No weapon fashion against your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle shall prosper. I am lifting you up now. I am lifting you up now above every satanic manipulation. I am lifting you up now above every demonic attack. Grace is upon you. There is a grace that can, there is a grace of springboard. It will make you to go higher than that of the enemy. So shall it be. This week is going to be glorious. Now look at the message for this week. The bomb for this week is this. I've realized that we cannot live here on earth without problem. Problem everywhere. Yes. Any man telling you that you will not have problem is not helping you. You do hear me? Anybody prophesying that there shall be no problem in your life is placing a curse upon you. <clears throat> it may look strange. I think it's a bomb. Anybody that is telling you or praying for you and saying that you shall not have problems is not helping you. As you wake up, there are problems telling you good morning. Every day of your life, problems. Every year, problems. But when the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge, it is because our knowledge towards problem is weak. Listen to me. Problems are opportunities. Write it down. Problems are opportunities. So I'm not saying that you are going to embark on this week without problems. I'm not blessing you. You need problems. <laughs> let them come. I want to let you know today that problems are your opportunities of greatness. Problems are your opportunity for greatness. So if you want to be great, long for more problems to come around your life. God did not promise us a world without problem. Problems are bound to come. Persecutions are bound to come. Troubles are bound to come. Afflictions are bound to come. When David said in the book of Psalms, Psalm 23, even though I pass through the shadow of death, even though I pass through the valley of darkness, David was attesting to the fact that there are problems. But he said, I will not be afraid. Child of God, I am praying for you today, this week, that your attitude towards problems will change. Your attitude towards problems will change. That you should wake up and say, where are the problems of today? 
Where are the problems of today? Because each time you solve a problem, you become greater. Each time you solve a particular problem, you are winning. The Bible says, after God created man, he blessed man, he said, be fruitful, multiply. He says, subdue. We are created to subdue problems. We are not created to run away from problems. We are created to subdue problems. And the more you subdue problems, the more you rule. If you want to rule, you must subdue problems. You see? You see? So I'm praying for you today that God will give you the grace to see problems and smile. Confront them and conquer them and rule. You are destined to rule your world. You are destined to, you know, the problems can come from any angle. Problems can come from any angle. Problems can come from your father. Problems can come from your mother. Problems can come from your wife. Problems can come from your children. Problems can come from your colleagues. Those who wear the same garment with. Yes. But take it from me today. I am praying that you receive the power to subdue and conquer. You don't run away from problems. When the devil knows that you run away from problems, he will, he will kill you with problems. But when the devil knows that you have gotten this wisdom, that you confront problems, that you wake up in the morning and start looking for problems. No problems looking for you. You look for problems because you know that there's something in you that you can use to conquer them. Never you say, I know one problem. Never you in your life say, I know one problem. You are reducing yourself. Never you in your life say, I know one problem. Because problems are opportunities. The problem of Goliath melted Saul <laughs> and the Israelites. The problem of Goliath. But that same problem of Goliath Exalted David. David came and challenged Goliath. He cut off his head. And people sang and praised God and praised God. And they started composing music. Let me tell you a new song, a prophecy now, is coming towards you because you have conquered a problem. People will sing praises unto your God. So you cannot continue to shy away. Let me tell you, everything that you are enjoying here on earth was a problem solved. Everything. Everything. A problem solved. Listen to me. Everything. This light that is shining solved the problem of darkness. This seat solved the problem of too much standing. This phone you are holding Solve the problem of communication. The vehicle. Solve the problem of mobility. The refrigerator. Solve the problem of preservation. Everything is solving problem. The pen. Solve the problem of documentation. Everyone, hear me now. Your problem is your ladder. Your problem is your ladder to greatness. Your problem is your ladder. So today, I am turning all your problems to ladder. When you see any problem, begin to jump up and celebrate. When you wake up and there's no problem to solve, say, God, why? <laughs> say, God, why? My father, why? Daddy, why? Alfred, are you with me? You great man of God, are you with me? I say, when any problem is, is it, when problem begin to run away from you, you begin to say, ah, God, why? God, why are you demoting me? I want more rank. I want more rank. Because the more you solve the problems, the better. Let me tell you, those who run away from problems are filled with shame. When you run away from problems, you are filled with shame. Saul was filled with shame. And that was why the women started praising David, singing songs, praising David, and he became jealous. If you shy away from problems, you run away from problems, one day you become jealous. Because those who are solving problems will become great. We are solving problems. 
you I'm not, wait, 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 let me tell you there are some people when God has given you resources you begin to enjoy enjoy you don't solve problems you are using your money to chop life no whatever that comes to your hand when God has blessed your hand with words think of how to solve problem in the mighty name of Jesus let this grace be upon you let this blessing be upon you let this spirit enter you. Let this spirit enter you. I want the spirit to enter you. The spirit to see problem and begin to celebrate problem. Makushare, masere, makoma, kere, makoma. How are you, Father Felix? I welcome you to this special morning impartation. Receive the ability to solve problems. Receive the grace to solve problems. You will never see problems are run away. You will never see problems are run away. You will see problems and embrace them. You will be looking for problems. You wake up in the morning, go to the east looking for problems. Go to the south looking for problems. Go to the north looking for problems. Go to the west. You don't, you begin to look for problems and ask God to give you the grace to solve their problems. Listen to me, child of God. When you solve problems, you become greater. The more you are solving problems, the more your star is shining. The more you solve problems, the more your rank increases. And I prophesy from today, you will not be afraid of problems. You will not run away from problems. You, when, when you see problems, you will challenge them. You will confront them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be afraid because it is your ladder. Your problem 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 is your ladder. You will not reject your ladder. You must climb. 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 You must reach the top. You must reach the top. That is where your destiny is. God wants you to move higher. And you will surely move higher. I am tired of those who are saying I don't want problem. Problems should come. But the point is, God must give you the grace. You must carry the grace to mesmerize problem. You must carry the grace to handle problems. Don't be there crying and shedding tears. Why are you shedding tears? Why are you crying? There is something in you. There is grace in you. There is power in you. Activate it now and begin to solve problems. Activate it now and begin to knock down problems. Let problems begin to, 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 to run away from you. You begin to look for them. What is pursuing you? You begin to pursue them. What is pursuing you? You begin to pursue them. What is chasing you? You begin to chase them because there is greatness in you. There is greatness in you. Come on. Now, what are the problems in your family? Begin to solve them. Begin to solve them. Yes. Don't begin to cry. It is not time to cry. It is not time to cry. Begin to share. Let many people connect. I'm writing up for this morning. This is Monday morning. Monday morning in partition with Father Dibia, a servant of the Most High God. I am prophesying into your life that there should be problem. Because in them, you are said. In them you succeed. In them you are celebrated. In them you are a winner. If you don't conquer problem, you don't subdue problems, you cannot rule. 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 You must rule. In the four cardinal blessings God gave to man, be fruitful, multiply, subdue, subdue. Let me tell you. So let me tell you. Your attitude towards problem. <laughs> is very, very important more than your words. If you have one billion naira and you have a very weak attitude towards problem, sorry for you, your future is zero. Because problem will come. Is that not why God has made some people rich and because of fear, they have joined occultic groups? Is that not why? For fear, they have joined demonic groups? Why should the words God has given to you. Take you away from God because of problem. Because you don't want to die. <laughs> you don't want to die. Let me tell you, confront problems. Subdue them so that you can rule your world. Conquer them that you may rule your world. Listen to me. Conquer problems. You wake up in the morning, there is no food in the house. So, oh my God, there is no food. Now, do not go and start sleeping. Do not go to your home and start crying. How do I make sure that there is food in this family? How do I make sure that my children have their school fees? How do I make sure that this sickness goes away? How do I make sure that my children are able to sleep on good bed? How do I make sure that my mother-in-law stops attacking me? How do I make sure that my sisters are happy and I have peace? And this you can do when you bring out the problems before you and confront them. 
You don't shy away. Don't wave problems away. No way. There are many of us having accumulated problems that are weighing us down. When problems are over-accumulated, it becomes a burden. When your problems are over-accumulated, it becomes a burden. Are you listening to me? So you must solve them. There is no need for carryover. So you have one month and few days to solve the problems of the year 2021. Not based on your ability, but through Christ who threatens you. Through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. You can do that. I said you can do that. The world is thick with problems. But those who solve problems are the great ones. The world is thick. Thick with problems. But those who solve the problems are the great ones. So I don't want you to be running away from your problems. I don't want to be shy away from your problems. I don't want to be afraid of your problems. Listen to me. God is speaking to you now. God is speaking to you now. God is speaking to you now. All these problems around you, they carry the keys of your greatness. The keys of the door of greatness. Do not shy away from them. Confront your problems. If your, your, your fiancé is not happy with you, and uh, don't start blaming your grandmother. Don't start blaming your stepmother. We like, we like looking for those to actually uh, blame for what problems coming our way. No. Solve the problem. If your, your, your husband says you are very dirty, why are you blaming your father-in-law? Why do you say witches and wizards make you dirty? Why not solve the problem of debt? If they say you talk too much, why are you saying that witches and wizards are responsible? Why not solve it by learning how to control your tongue? Why not, if it is difficult for you physically, why not call on God to give you the grace? Solve your problems. Yes. Solve your problems. Change your lifestyle. If your husband is always complaining, or your wife, that you don't bring food at home, solve it by stop going to beer palo and wasting your money. Solve it. If they say, oh, Father Mario is too, is too wicked. Okay. I will say, how am I wicked? Okay, was it because I'm, okay. Okay. I will change strategy. I will change strategy. I will change it. If it's a problem, okay, I will change. I will say, God, give me the wisdom. The important thing is that I'm still doing what you want me to do. So, child of God, today I am blessing you. This is a new week, and I don't want this word to disappear from you because the word becomes flesh. The word becomes flesh. I want you to listen to me, listen to me, because I am a minister of the gospel. I'm a priest of the Catholic Church, running a ministry for 22 years now. I have discovered so many problems, even in ministry, and I'm changing my life. I am solving it. I'm, I'm trying to conquer the problems. Because I realize that one of the major problems in ministry is that we keep blessing people, keep blessing people, and they're not working on themselves. We keep blessing people, we keep prophesying, but the people we are blessing, the people we prophesy unto, they are not working on themselves. Their attitude towards life is filled with ignorance. They attend all the conferences, crusades, adoration centers all over the world, but they lack knowledge. They lack knowledge. So I pray today that this wisdom Blessings you are receiving now will change your life. Amen. That your attitude towards problem should change. That you don't see problems and be crying. Rather, you think of how to solve them. May the Lord be praised now and forevermore. I thank God for this day. I thank God for you joining me. Make sure you share this on your page. Make sure you make people hear this. Let them stop lamenting and stop looking for devil where there is no devil. Let them know that God has endowed them with grace to handle problems. I pray that God will open our eyes and open our doors. I pray that God will give us another understanding of what 
what problem is. That problems that do come our way, they are opportunities of bringing out the best in us. Everybody, listen to me. You are like a Lipton bag, a Lipton tea bag. Yes, your best will only come out when they drop you in hot water. When you take a Lipton bag and drop in ice water, the Lipton bag will not vomit the gold inside. When you put it in ordinary warm water, it will not vomit the gold inside. But when you put a Lipton bag into hot water that is, that is steaming heavy, as soon as you drop the Lipton bag into it, you see that the water will change to gold. The hot water will change to gold. The content of the Lipton bag will circulate everywhere, flowing, dancing, celebrating, happy. Some of us hear me. We need this hot water in our life. We need problems in our life. We need problems in our life. Sometimes we are too comfortable with comfort. But sometimes God looks at you and says, no, let me draw this boy closer. And if he permits one problem to come, it's of that problem to draw you closer to God and bring out the best in you. Many of us allow the problem to crush us. So many people today are living problemless life. And that is dangerous. Very dangerous. May this knowledge change your life, change your way of thinking, change your spirituality, change your spirituality, change your spirituality, change your way of living, change your way of reasoning. Problems are blessings. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Problems are blessings. Problems are blessings. I thank God for this wisdom. Because in the world, you can never live in this world without problem. You can never. If the problem is not coming from you directly, it's coming from your children. It's coming from your mother. It's coming from your friends. It's coming from your enemies. It's coming from those you don't even know. It's coming from private admirers. It's coming from journalists. It's coming from politicians. It's coming from our government. It's coming from... Ah. So how dare you say you live with that problem? But the point is, receive the power, receive the anointing, receive the ability to conquer problems in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning impartation. We thank you for this revelation. We thank you for this impactation we are begging you to please increase in our strength increase in us power increase in us ability to handle problems we will not shy away from problems give us the wisdom give us the wisdom give us the wisdom to handle problems give us the wisdom to see problems and know that there are problems let us know that they are destined to be solved every problem has a destiny and the destiny is that you must be solved god give my children the power give my children the grace give my children the comportment give my children the ability no matter how big the problem may be no matter how small the problem may be give them that grace that strength, that inner strength that will enable them to see how they can solve their problem and depending solely on you, the almighty God there is no problem that cannot be solved there is no problem that cannot be solved there is no problem that can never be solved there is no problem, even death can be solved when we die all these fears will disappear in the other world. I pray that God will endow you with so much blessings as you share this, as you connect it to others. Let us see how we can reach out to many people. Let us see how we can reach out to many people. So many people are dying. The devil has used problem to overburden them and they don't know that they can rise. The Bible says if that same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead falls on you, lives in you, you can move up. It can revitalize you. And that is my prayer this morning. No matter how problems of sin has weighed you down, no matter how sinful and dirty you are, there is a solution in the blood of Jesus. There is a solution in the blood of Jesus. There is a solution in the blood of Jesus. Do not condemn yourself. Do not condemn yourself because you are still alive. Opportunities are there. That problem is an opportunity. Mary Mandela had issues, but she was able to get the problem solved and she became great. Thank you, Jesus, 
for giving us this insight. Thank you, Jesus, for this revelation. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning dew, for this Monday morning impartation. Thank you, Lord. Now I can lift up my head and challenge all the problems in my life, all the problems in my family, all the problems in my ministry, all the problems in the life of the people of God. This is something that is individual. Father in heaven, do it for your children now. The problems in their life, let it become a stepping stone to greater heights. The problems in their family, let it become a stepping stone for greater heights. The problem in their marriages, let it become a stepping stone for greater heights. God gives you the wisdom. He gives you the ability to handle these problems. In the mighty name of Jesus, I see you celebrating. I see you having a thanksgiving because of that problem. I see you dancing because you have solved the problem. I see you celebrating because you have won, because you are destined to win. We are winners. Rebo sere makoba shere makama lebra susiri makune yekenderi kaba rakuri bakushere masinde iyamu senderi makunderi kebo yebrodo siri makushi lekende senderi kaba oria masose le makushare kaba yekre kaba kushere ma even though the problems are spiritual, even though the problems are psychological, even though the problems are emotional, even though they are physical, receive the grace with Christ you can do all things with Jesus we can do all things. With Jesus, we can do all things. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for such a great opportunity. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing our lives. All run testimony, all run victory, all run blessings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You can WhatsApp me on 080-6000-1548. 0806001548. Now listen to me. There are people now who are online sending prophecies, sending messages with Reverend Father Mario David Dibia, another account. I don't know how they opened it. Do not reply. And if you are confused, please WhatsApp me. Send me. Ask. I am not sending you any message through Yahoo Messenger, through Facebook, whatever. I don't have the time for that. They have the time for that. So in case they drop any message that is shaking you, you can call me or WhatsApp me. You can call me or WhatsApp me. Just WhatsApp me. 080-6000-1548. Do not send money. Forget about anything. An orphanage home God born in Nazarawa. Orphanage home God born that a caretaker. No. I have an orphanage home at Asaba. Lumen Christi. Family, motherless, babies home at Asaba, at Ojubana Drive, around St. Bridges College. You can visit them there. Do not send any money. The only one account we have in our ministry. The account we have in our ministry is Lumen Christi Family. That is the name of the account. Lumen Christi Family. And the account number is 101-102-9404. Zenith Bank. That is the only account number we have. All these scammers, tips, I'm not with them. So, the Lumen Christie family, I'm giving you my direct line. This is my direct line. I don't have any special line. This is my only line. If I can't, you can't get me, it's because it's because I should give you my number. Ike Chugo, please, Father, give me your number. Yeah? Zero eight zero six thousand one five four eight. That's my direct line. If you call me and you are not getting me, you know that I am busy. But send text, and that is also my WhatsApp number. You know, it's better you send WhatsApp. It's there. Zero eight zero six thousand one five four eight. Zero eight zero six thousand. 1548. And the account number of the ministry is only one Zenith Bank account. The name of the ministry is Lumen Christie Family. Lumen Christie Family. And the account number is 101 102 That is all. Any other transaction you are making with money, my hand, not day. Don't let them dupe you. Don't let them mess you up. Don't let them destroy you. These are tips. It's a pity. Many are falling victims. 
They say, oh, Father Mario, Father Dibe, Father Dibe, Father Dibe, Father Dibe. It's not me. As I'm posting this now, they are reposting it in their own page that they use my name to open up my picture. And they are sending texts, messages to people, telling them about visions. Oh, child of God, I see a vision in you. You are going to be this, you are going to be that, this, that, that. Rubbish. Rubbish. If God wants to bless you, God will bless you. But just obey what the Lord is teaching you. All the problems in your life, receive the power to solve them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See you again next week. Every Monday morning, we have the Monday morning impactation with Father Mario David Dibier. Monday morning impactation. As the year is coming to an end, we are asking the good Lord to bless us, to be with us all the days of our lives. I remain your priest. I remain your brother. I remain your darling, 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 darling daddy. And with God, we are making it in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Believe in God. Believe in God. All things work it unto good, including your problems. I repeat, all things work it unto good, including the wahala. Because as I'm waking up now, I have many wahalas around my head. I'm going to knock all of them down. And at the end of the day, I will say, thank you, Lord, for victory. The Lord be glorified. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you share this. God bless you. And feel free to WhatsApp me in that number. That is my direct number. Help me and help others. Lumen Christi family. God's great family. In Jesus, we succeed. God bless you.